Um, this term we've not just been learning about magnets, but we've been learning about magnetic force and forces in general. A force is something that can move something or change its shape. Okay, when I say change its shape, possibly think about um, Play-Doh. That's the, the easiest example I can think of. We push and pull the Play-Doh to change its shape. Uh, forces always push or pull. Okay, magnets can push or pull, or pull. When a magnet is attracting something, okay, magnet, when it is attracting something, it is pulling. Okay, but when we have two magnets that are repelling, they push against each other. That is a push force. Whereas this is a pull force. Even though this magnet is super duper weak and you can barely feel it. Okay, uh, magnets don't actually have to be touching the object uh, to exert a force on it. And we've seen that, haven't we, when we've... You can see that, mag there it is, pull, pull. Pull. So it's acting at a distance. All right. We also saw that um, when we lifted our um, paper clip up into the air and we pulled it away, we could see the magnetic field was still um, attracting the paper clip until it was too far away. And then that other force, gravity, took over. Okay. Um, magnetic force can act at that distance. It can also go through objects. So if I put my magnet inside. I can still attract the safety pin. Okay, um, as long as the material is not too thick or the object um, is not too far away because magnets can only exert a force on an object if it's within its magnetic field. And we know that magnetic fields will weaken over distance. Okay, so gravity is a, another force that can act at a distance. Okay, rather than through con direct contact. So here's uh, an old shoe. If I drop it, it falls down to the ground and that is because of the force of gravity. Okay, um, when we drop things, gravity always uses a pull force and it will pull things down to the centre of the earth. Okay, um, gravitational force between our earth and most things is very noticeable. If we jump up in the air, um, we get pulled back down quite quickly, don't we? Um, we can feel the pull of gravity when we try and lift heavy things. Okay, so like imagine Mrs. Marini at the gym trying to lift lots and lots of kilograms on the dumbbells. Well, I can feel the force of gravity when I'm trying really hard to lift them. I'm not very strong. Okay, uh, the more mass something has, so the heavier it is, uh, the greater the pull of gravity and the greater lifting force we need. So that's why at the gym you might see guys lifting enormous big weights with their veins popping in their neck and their face is red because they're using so much force. Oh. Gravity pulls pulls down on all objects on earth okay regardless of whether the object is moving regardless of whether it's in the sky in the water floating on the ground um, if the object is on earth gravity is pulling it down okay that's because of our earth's gravitational force cool Alright, so that was just a quick one on gravity and um, I'm going to go now to the gym. See you later.